Projectile motion refers to the two-dimensional path followed by an object that's been launched with an initial speed and a launch angle, and that during its flight is only subjected to its weight. So let's say we hit a golf ball, for example. So let's draw a coordinate system, x and y, and let's assume we hit the golf ball at an initial angle or a launch angle theta naught with an initial velocity v naught. And I'm sure we can all agree that the golf ball is going to follow some kind of parabolic path like this. And it's going to be called projectile motion if the only force acting on the golf ball during its flight is its weight. Now, you don't need to know right away that weight is mg. We'll get to the forces and we'll define the weight force. But I'll just write it now if you want to come back later. In other words, it must be subjected solely to its weight. That means that we can't account for any sort of friction. The golf ball doesn't have some kind of jet pack to propel it forward or anything like that. There's only one force. It's the weight force pulling it down all along. Now, if that's true, then there are two consequences that you need to know and that will hold for projectile motion. It's that the acceleration horizontally is going to be zero. There will be no horizontal acceleration because the only force there is is purely vertical. And Ax equals zero, therefore, means that we have uniform motion along x. So the speed of the golf ball horizontally stays constant throughout the entire flight. Okay, at any moment, it stays the same. It doesn't go faster here and then slow down or the other way around. Horizontally, that is. Vertically, that's a different story. Vertically, the acceleration Ay is negative g, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now that's acceleration due to gravity, and the negative sign here comes from the fact that we chose y to be positive upward, and the weight force is pulling down. So the acceleration is going down opposite what is um, declared to be positive. So we have a negative sign here, and g itself is 9.8, is the acceleration due to gravity. So we have non-uniform motion in the y direction, and the combination of these two motions gives you that parabolic curve here. Okay? Now, one thing that's important to remember along with this is that for a given v naught and a given theta naught, everything is set. All right? It gives you one path once you set v naught and theta naught. Okay? There's nothing else after the launch that will interfere with the flight, only mg, and the path is set for one given v naught and one given theta.